It's given that heat transferred to the gas is equal to the decrease in its internal energy. We need to find the certain things. So let's find the process first and then we can find all these things. So let's start with what is given to us that heat is equal to decrease in internal energy. So heat is given as and not C dt where C is the molar heat capacity and decrease in internal energy is minus n naught cv dt and we know cv is r upon gamma minus 1 so this gives the value of c to be minus r upon gamma minus 1 and we will equate it to the c of a polytropic process to get the value of n so let's do that so r will get cancelled and what we'll get is n is equal to gamma plus 1 by 2. So what we have got is the polytropic process which is of the form PV raised to power gamma plus 1 by 2 is equal to constant. Now we can find all these things quite easily because we using these formulas which we have derived before that molar heat capacity of a for a polytropic process is given by this formula and work done in polytropic process is this. So first part, molar heat capacity. So it's given by this formula, you put the value of n and get our answer. Or you can see here that here also directly we, were, we had gotten the value of C. But I like to, so it's, it's, I, uh, it's more nice this way because now we are proceeding from the process which we now know. So with this process, the value of C is this. Second part, equation of the process in terms of temperature and volume. So let's just get rid of pressure and get our process in terms of temperature and volume. Third part, work performed when the volume increases eta times if initial temperature is T naught. So if initial temperature is given, Let's find final temperature so we can use this formula to get the work done. So again using our same uh, the process in terms of uh, temperature and volume. The volume increases eta times which gives temperature new temperature is this much. So from here we get delta T is this. So we'll just put the value of uh, delta T here to get the work done in this process. So this is the critical part in this problem where we are just equating the value of molar heat capacity which we got from the given, given condition and equated it to the molar heat capacity of a polytropic process. And we got a nice value of N. So if this n was uh, some infinity or something, then this would not have worked. But this is a nice value. So n can be a fractional value, n can be positive or negative. For all those values, these it's still a polytropic process and these formulas still work.